Hello. In this video, we are going to be covering the Display Control app within Venus Control Suite. The Display Control app can be used to control several features on your LCD displays by giving them commands. To start, you'll want to make sure Display Control is turned on for your display. Open the Displays app. Click on your display and turn Display Control to On. The plan type, Simple or Advanced, can be chosen from here. An advanced plan is used when you have one player controlling multiple displays, with each display represented by an ID. You can set the manufacturer of your LCD display. If the display is a DWP or Dectronics web player, the remaining fields are not needed. If it is any other manufacturer, you can also set the media player input and COM port. Additionally, a one or two character screen ID can be added. Make sure to save your display. Now, opening the Display Control app will allow you to create multiple control plans. A control plan can be created by clicking Add New. By clicking Properties at the top of your screen, your properties will slide in on the right side of the screen. You can give your control plan a name, set it to Active or Inactive, set up a date range for this plan to run, and days of the week for it to run on. You can also toggle your control plan to be an override, which will replace any other control plans that are playing to the selected displays. On the left side of your screen, under the display section, you can add the displays this control plan will be applied to by clicking Add Display and selecting the displays from the right. Under the Blocks section, you can add multiple blocks to a plan. A block is a predetermined time range that certain commands will be applied. By default, one block is already created in your control plan. Within a block, you can add commands. Clicking Add Command or Edit will open up your block properties on the right. From here, a start and end time can be applied to this block. The volume can be set. You can also set a backlight. And your commands can be applied here as well. Commands include muting and unmuting the display, enabling and disabling the on-screen display, enabling or disabling the remote, you can also choose to disable all buttons on the remote except for the power button. You can enable or disable the physical buttons on the display. You can also choose to disable all physical buttons on the display except for the power button. You can enable or disable the USB ports on the display. And you can set the input to the display. Additionally, if you set Power Off to Active, your displays will turn off at the end time of your last command. Once a control plan has been created, make sure to save it. That concludes this video. Check out our YouTube channel for other Venus Control Suite videos to learn more.